Wait, I'm in. Nah, nothing's coming on. I wonder. It is a bit slow. I only have one screen on. Ah, right. It says external power in that zone. I'm getting no engine start though. The battery's not on though. Oh yeah, I can see you're pressing buttons. Yeah, that's got you might want you've got external power on, haven't you? Works a bit low. Okay, I've got all screens on now. Just disconnect me from from the internet. See if that can. Nope, I've got okay. no screens. Yeah, the screens are on now. But I've got no map. Yeah, the middle screen. Yeah, the AI AI RDS. Yeah. Okay. But they're I on. I have a, you know, the, the flight plan map. Right, so that's. So, oh, hang on. Move your throttles backwards and forwards. Yep, I can, uh, yep, your speed brakes are working, yep, I can see everything, yep. Yep, we're cooking, yep, what about your flaps, try your flaps. Yep, I can see all them. Rudal. You can try for me is change the frequency on COM1. Right, so let's see, let's see, uh, right, oh, I need a connector vaccine first, that'll help. Oh, we've got Adis. Right, let's let's hang on. Then is ground on? Then ground might be on. It's just loading all that stuff now. Right, so we'll, I'll see if the Adis comes through. Oh Christ, this is a long, long list. Uh, one two eight point zero seven five. So one two eight point zero. Seven five is that coming across? Oh, I'm in the fucking pa captain seat, man. It's a re I need, I'm not used to flying solo. Uh, right, so on my first officers, you should see. Yeah. Oh, it's one two eight four zero. Can you see one to eight point four zero? Uh, I've put it on the standby and I'm switching it over. Information, so it's information golf. I know that. Level 75 ILS approach to be 
Yeah. Uh, two. Two seconds. I just had to turn it down there. Uh, right. So we'll need to ask for clearance because centre's on in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, runway two foot. Oh, I don't even know why I'm even trying to listen to it. This I can just click on it. Right, so I'll get that off. I'll just click on it on the bloody menu. Information golf runway and use two four transition level is seven thousand five hundred. ILS approach to be expected. Date landing clearances are available. Depart on aircraft. Make initial contact. We're under control. <coughs> oh, me. I'm one two nine four two five. See if that matches up. Yep, London South Centre. Three, two. I'm gonna just pre-put that in. So one, two, nine, four, two, five. I'll just put it in the standby for now. So information golf wins two seven zero eleven knots. Overcast it. Mm, that's odd. Visibility 10 kilometers. Few clouds at 4,300. 1,000. Flight level 7. Mm. No, that's it. And altimeter is 1011. One, one. Yeah. Acknowledge receipt of information golf and advise when aircraft type on first contact. Let's see how busy it is. I'm not hearing anything, so you know what? I might do a radio check quickly. Uh, I can't hear anything. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He... So, how we're doing the takeoff? We're going to do a flaps 15 or a flaps 17. Flap seventeen, yeah. Um, have you got your, have you got your speeds in that already? I'll, 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 I'll leave you to do all that. I'll just handle the comms for now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can hear the flaps. I tell you what, this plane looks much clearer, cleaner. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll need a bit. Oh, is our transponder on? I put it on. Yes. Yeah. It should be on. I haven't set a frequency though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on. It's on. This is the worst part because it's busy as hell. I'm just going to do a quick radio check though, see if you can hear us. In fact, no, I'm just going to fire off the flight plan. If I can get in. That's <laughs> why I hate flying in London. That's why I prefer flying in the States. No offence to the controllers or anyone, but. Uh, what was the ultimate? That was one zero one one, wasn't it? One zero one one. Let's golf. Hello, London. Oh. Just but. I wonder if it can give us clearance via PDC. Did say date landing clearances are available, but I've never tried it. Yeah. Hello, London Centre. This is Skyways 5633. Request an IFR clearance to Brussels.
Skyways 5633 clear to Brussels via the Hazel 7 departure. Hazel 2 Foxtrot departure. And squawking 1252. Skyways 5633. Startup approved and will report back when ready to taxi. Skyways 5633. Great. So it's the same arrival, same departure, runway 24. And I believe the runway is, well, it's literally right behind us. I think he's what he's going to have us do is go taxi out left. Oh, this war, this Warhammer skin's beautiful. It's, it's a uh, blood, Indi blood angels. Yeah, it's got a sanguineous primark for the blood angels on it. And it has got the air. It's in like 4K definition as well, so it's oh, it's beautiful. I wish they'd done a Black Templar one. I might have a look, you know. I've not bothered looking. So essentially what they've done is they've made the Heavy Division mod actually live in this. Oh, I'm still on 2.9985 inches. I should probably... Yeah, 101. Yeah, yeah, I've just switched it over. Yeah, I'm going to uh, hire me train button on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I can't see the numbers, but I know what you're doing in anyway. See, I, I should have. See, I can't see the flight plan out, but as long as you've got the flight plan, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, someone got the wrong air, but oh, I need to put the scorecode in. So, one, two, five, two. Just hit the ident button just to make sure that should be yep on more charlie ident yep cruising altitude's 19,000 initially unless they want us to go higher i've got night i've got 19,000 he's not told us to change air because they would tell we yeah What a lovely day here at Farnborough. This is the first time I've been here. Like, I've never been there in real life, like, but... I tell you what, though, that's... They, this is one of the planes I want to fly on. In real life. <coughs> it's just the door, they only do it for, like, the long hauls. So it would have to be a long haul. I mean, I've I've now I flew on an A310. I flew on one of them. That was my first time I ever flew. A310. 747. I've flown on one of them as a passenger. That was with uh, Atlas Air to Canada with the Army. Yeah, I was in the Army. I only did four years. I only did four years. I got medically discharged. 
No, no, I never, I never went to Afghanistan. Luckily, I missed out on that campaign. Um, for some reason, I just don't do well in hot climates. I ended up getting heat stroke out in Canada and nearly died because of it. Yeah, uh, the people at the med center said if you were left out for like 10 minutes more, you would have died. Uh, sunstroke. Heat stroke. Yeah, I didn't. I never thought it would be possible before going to Canada like you could get heat stroke in Canada, but it was like it. Yeah, it uh, it's weird because you know how over here we gradually go into winter and we gradually go into summer. In Canada, it's, it's overnight. Yeah, it's overnight. It was plus forty two degrees one day, and then it was like minus eight the next morning. Rough. That's that's a good change. That leg. Yeah. Uh, I think I can. Uh, I don't see them in the screen. I have the zero fuel weight. I don't have the cost index. So hang on. Uh, nope. I do not have the V speeds. Yeah, or oh, it's probably because I've not got a flight plan in. <coughs> I mean, that's fair. I mean, you're flying in anyway, so it does it. It's not really. I've still got the speeds up, so I'll be able to tell you if we hit. So, what's the air V1? V1, V2. V2 go with me. V2 is 1.149. So there's that. I can just watch out for the speeds and then call it. So. Yeah. Uh, oh no, you've got uh, you've got rejected takeoff. You've got your RTO, haven't you? Oh, you sure? Yeah, it's either. We've got uh, V1, VR, and V2. Uh, what's the VR? Is it? Wait, so those are the speeds I'm looking out for. Yep, my altimeter has still. Re I'll just quickly check the ATS again, see if the altimeter has changed. Nope, it's 1011. Right, he has, he has approved us for push back and start, so we're good to go to push back. Ready for taxi. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, well, sh he, we'll, we'll find out if he wants to not push back or not because he'll be screaming down the thingy. But I think because he's that busy, he's. Yeah, and we're not at a busy airport. Yeah, so have the nose facing left. Cars. Yeah, I could. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Mm, speed brakes are up on mine. But that. Ah, right. Oh, yeah, because you've got the auto brakes on, haven't you? Yeah, you should get JSX because it does all like the proper pushback procedures and stuff like that as well. The passengers, the loading. How much did it cost? I think when I got it when it first came out, so I think it was about was it twenty or thirty quid? It'll be even less now. It'll be I JSX. It's a friggin' hassle to download, but once it's downloaded, oh, it's brilliant. It makes the flights um, more immersive than what it is. You can see the passengers come on. You can see the passengers come on, they come on the buses. 
it tells you how like you know if you put how many passengers it is in sim brief you can link your sim brief to it so it'll fill your aircraft up to what you want your fuel in how many passengers you've got on if you just put one in it'll just load one passenger same with like the luggage and all that stuff it'll put it it'll calculate it all Alright, uh, so we are ready for taxi now, won't we? So. Hello, London Centre, Skyways 56-5633 has now completed our pushback and is requesting taxi IFR. Line up, runway 24, Skyways 5633. So, so we're just lining up on 24. He's not giving us clearance to take off, so it's just a line up. Yeah. And the most. Ah, uh, I wonder if there's any aircraft there uh, kicking about near us. Oh! There's another air. Uh... Oh no, that must be yours. Yeah, it's got another 787X going to Brussels. That must be me, yeah. yeah, it will be on there. That's by um, I'm just having a look at the map. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm just going to see where we are. Adri LF in it. Uh, where am I? Which direction is Farnborough facing in? Can't see it on this bloody uh, map. Oh, London's closing. We might st so yeah, just uh, st stop with the and I'll see if we can. Uh, London Centre Skyways 5633 is lining up on runway 24 at Farnborough. Uh, everything's just went off for me. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, my plane's just shut down. Your plane is shut down? Yeah. That's strange. Wait, hang on then. Uh, control E, Control E. Yeah, yeah, I'm Control E in it. Uh, yep, London's just went off. So it's over. Yeah, yeah. So, right, so I'll sort that out. Hang on, one, two, two, decimal eight, zero, zero. Right, so what the ground is on, is it? Um, in, in Brussels still. still ah, yeah, yeah, happy days. Right, um, just wait for the engines to spool up. Flaps are still set. I've still got the V1 speeds. Yeah, he's, he's just went off. He didn't see it all aircraft unless he said it, and I didn't get it. Ah right, yeah, I, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Oops. See, if I was on my own, I'd be like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> right, here we go. We're off to Brussels. Right, so London traffic, Skyways five six three three is taking off from where two four left from Farnborough Airport. Okay. Yep, on your, on your go. Yep, I've got them written down because obviously it's not pairing up on mine. Yeah, 
Oh, that sound is beautiful. Have they changed the sound? Airspeed to live. 100 knots. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Putting gear up. Are you happy to do flaps or would you want me to do f I'll let you do flaps actually since you've got control of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna gradually Yeah. But we're in a nice shallow climb. Speed is good. Speed is good, views are beautiful. Oh yes. Oh yes. I'm gonna engage autopilot. Two thousand feet, autopilot engaged. Oh, set it to ten thousand feet for now. Yep. I've got... Oh, what have I got? Ground speed is 209. 216. True air speeds. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, airspeed's coming down. Claim and still. Oh. Shallow little bit of a dip there. Yeah. And speed's going down. And normally what I do is I'll put it in an L nav and then flight flight level change. And then it'll do it. So yeah. No worries. Internet connection loss. Please show you have active internet connection. Well, <coughs> but we're still connected. Yep, so if you put LNAV in, then flight level change, it should go to. It'll automatically work the speed. It'll automatically work the claim rate off the speed. Okay. I'm currently reading 245 on the speed, 3000 feet. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, there, there we go, it's back up to 250. Excellent. Wow. There we go. How do I get the El Nav, it'll follow the heading already. It'll follow the. Oh, you want to go direct? Um, pretty much like any other bone. So if you go on the flight plan and you click on the waypoint below the one we're on, and then click it at the top. So you'd click on Hazel, yeah. and then you. So you click on that and then you click the top of the flight plan, the top of the flight plan button, and then it should all yeah. and then it should automatically and then hit execute. And then it should automatically go in. And we've got it, yeah. Yep, yeah, are we heading towards there? We should be. Uh I'm not turning. Are we? I'm not turning yet either. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, it's turning. Yeah, perfect. You just have to turn heading off. Now we're on LNAV. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to go up to 19,000 and I'll increase the speed now that we're at 10,000 feet. Oh, we're turning left apparently. Yeah, that's Hazel. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Right yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so 10, that's... Turning right to get us on the line and now it's on the line and it's following itself. Yep, yeah, speed is 257 I've got, but obviously... I know it's not, it doesn't actually read the speed. We're at 10,000 and then when you hit, then you press flight level change again to go up to the next uh, altitude. Fantastic. Oh, I'm also getting a flying lesson on Boeing. See, with, with, uh, uh, yeah. with the A320, it would just do it all for you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a caution. What's the caution saying? I don't know, it's just popped up saying caution. Uh, Altitude alert, recirculate, fan, UPR off, landing altitude. 
<laughs> oh, so hang on. Oh yeah, the air conditioner. See, I didn't realise that. So yeah, there we go. Yep, yeah, cool. It's off. APU is still running. So you can turn that off if you want to. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, because obviously the, the power's coming from the engines now, isn't it? Yeah, as soon as you've got the engine running, you can tear the APU off. Yep, speed brakes this arm, gears up, flaps up. Speed is... Apparently I'm on... Yeah, my speed is 350 and I don't know why that is. That's what I said it to, we're above 10,000 feet. Oh, so you just, uh, oh yeah. Because we, as far as I'm aware, it's 250 below 10,000. See, normally I keep, it's weird because normally I keep the speed lower so I get a better climb. So I just go freaking right up, but 3,800 feet per second per minute, I'll, I'll take that. Uh, I don't know what the transition level is. Oh, the transition level was 7,500. So it should be going in the standard now then. If you hit the standard button on your barometer. Yeah. And then there we go then, because we're past the transition level of 7,5. Right, um, I'm not getting any messages at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at the map. Oh yeah, I see us. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, AGLF. There we go. Yep, I see we're just coming. London Centre's still on though. Yeah, I don't know which London Centre it'll be though. Because there's two on. Oh, hang on. London 127.10. I'll try this one if he sends us over or he asks us to monitor Unicom, then it's. Ooh, it's busy. Wait until he's finished the conversation. Are you hearing it? Are you? TCAS on, yeah. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it's on. Does it all matterly, didn't it? Oh, yeah, there, you know, yeah, you know, we keep them on. Yeah, it's on auto, so it should be fine. Yeah, it's on auto, so it should be working. Yep, I can hear it. That is good. Oh, yep, I see all the lights getting turned on and off. Yep. Hello, London Centre, Skyways 5633, flight level 190, IFR to Brussels. Over the Unicorn 122 decimal 8. Well. At least we're not flying through controlled airspace. Yeah. Well, um, I think the reason he's done it for is because 
we're going to be coming out of it shortly. Yeah. I mean, we're like, we're, we're not in any of the flight. I mean, we've got a British Airways 605. He's at 30,000 feet. That traffic, we had a 2,000 air, uh, 2 o'clock. That was 11,000 feet. Are we meant to be turning left? Well, yeah, yeah, we're on, we're. Yes, sir. We're yeah. now coming up to... We're now on Wizard, and we're heading towards the PR. Yeah, so we're now on Wizard, and we're heading towards the PR. Oh, nicely done, nicely done. Oh, hey, I've got everything on high, you know, and it's running like a dream. I'm currently running an X570A Pro motherboard, 16 gig of RAM, an RTX 3050, and a Ryzen 5. I think I've got 3200. Or was it a Ryzen 3? No, Ryzen 5. Ryzen 5 3600. Yep, 3600. I am looking at a new one though. I've seen a Ryzen 7 going for like less than 200 pounds. Yep. Because yep, because this game's really CPU heavy. That is true. So that performance, and if I overclock it, then combined with this being on an SSD, then if I put my Windows on an SSD, I wonder if it's got my flight sim as a high priority at the moment. Actually, yeah, it has. That's why it's running fucking fantastic. Oh. -ho. Very cloudy. It is very cloudy. I mean, I feel we should, we could probably go to a higher altitude, but... I mean, should we just keep it? I think we should stick to plan. Yeah, stick to plan. If the one were to go higher, someone will pipe up. Exactly. I mean, we're following the plan. We were told to get a compromise by the controllers. Yeah. Eh, uh, where's Brussels? Where's Brussels? Ground, tower, and approach is on. Excellent. No centre though, so it'll be approach when we come in. Whether or not they'll be on by the time we get there, I mean, we're doing pretty good. I don't even think it's going to take an hour. Right, I'm going to... I don't think... Not at this speed. Not at 3.50. Normally when I'm flying this I'm going like 300, 320 and I'm still getting like there like a few hours before if it's a long haul. Uh -huh. Oh doing a long haul and this would be fucking exceptional. It's just finding the time to do a long haul. Exactly. It's the only weekends for me where I really have that time. Yeah, I mean Oh, I see a plane down below. It's probably just generic AI. Oh, it might not be. Oh no, I've got, not got the air. Uh, that might be the easy jet, which has just passed us. They're currently at 9,000 feet. Yeah, that, that was the easy jet. Must have been. I mean, he's under the clouds now, I can't see. Yeah, he's at like 9,000 feet. Should have a check of the outside view. Oh, yeah, what? Well, yeah, I'll be able to share my screen, you know, you'll be able to see the air. Uh... Yes, please do. I'm going to share my screen, yeah. If it loads in, there it is. Very nice. I mean, how cool does that look? Dreamliner, Sanguinius, it's even got the bloody number on. Good plane. That is a very, very nice looking plane. That deserves a screenshot. <laughs> very beautiful. Yeah, so this is what I've got in my cockpit at the moment. I mean, this invalid entries.
still not much yeah. in interactiveness. Yeah, no, that's, that's what I really love about the fly by wire agency. Yeah. It's still got the HUD though. Yeah, the HUD works. That's what I love about these though, the boings, because they've got the HUD. Even though I never fucking use them. <laughs> no, I never use them. Nah. I prefer using my own eyes in the hood. It's it's weird. I just feel that the hood is an inferior screen. Yeah, it's. Hang on, can you adjust the? Oh, you can adjust the bright. You can adjust the brightness now. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to get it so it f You never used to be able to use the uh, brightness. That was an in up button. I think what they've done is they've imported the heavy division mod into this. Because this is ex Yeah, because this is what the heavy division mod would look like. Oh, it's a fantastic aircraft. Uh, uh, that's this why I prefer, uh, I prefer Bourne, unfortunately. Oh, you can do air date attitude. You see, half these buttons you never used to be able to do. Very quick. This is the worst when I'm on air that's him. Just, just no nothing. I'm getting some beeping noises. Oh, I'm getting the overspeed warning. Yeah, we've got a tailwind of we've got a tailwind of 63 knots. Wow, that's why we're able to go so fast. Yeah, that that, that tailwind's probably pushing more over. So we could probably lower the speed. Yeah, that should. <coughs> no, it's on a uh, three five six just below the bar barber pole. That is a strong tailwind. I've never had that before. Not 63, not seeing that though, it is quite windy in the UK at the moment, so... Seeing that... <coughs> we should be out of the UK now. We are, we're over the channel, Oh yeah. Oh wow, we're not that far from Brussels. <coughs> Wait, I'm gonna... What? No, but <coughs> we have got approach on an ABBR, but it's not showing up on the VATSIM. I've just got tower and ground. So I wonder if I refresh my VAT spy. I've got a pr Oh no. Yeah, it's only tower and ground. Tower you normally really just contact on final, don't you? Hmm. We're due in at 22.9. No. It's, no, it says 19.36 Zulu. It's only about 10 minutes. <laughs> That's what it says. And if you look at the map. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm going to start pre inputting frequencies here. Uh, so, we've got tower and ground. So, I'll put in tower first. You are? Oh. Change. We're on L now still. Okay, no, we're back on. We're back on. Good. Happy days, right? I'm gonna. Uh, to cock. Right. Cock. Right. I'll slow the plane down. Yeah. 
Yep, cause Cock is the arrival. Well, the last waypoint for Cock 7 Alpha. Yeah. Um, right, I'm gonna get the tower frequency in. So one, one. Right, I've got the tower on standby. I'm gonna also put the ground in. Point. I'm just gonna have it stored. Roger Dodd. Yeah. I didn't realise. I didn't think it was really going to take that long. It only took 45 minutes. With the tailwind, it's still 59 knots right behind us. Wait, so I don't know what the altimeter is, but there is an 80, so I'll check the altimeter. Altimeter. One zero one two for that as Brussels. Runway is two five left and two five right for arrival. Clear and dry. Runway two five for departure. Transition level five five. Winds two five zero degrees at one six knots. Visibility is ten or more. Clouds at four thousand nine hundred feet. Temperature eighteen. Dew point eight. Q and H one zero one two. No zig confirm information hotel on first contact. Do we want to do Zulu or Yankee? We'll do which one looks it well, seeing that which one would be easier. I do It's it's been a while since I was at Brussels, so obviously then it changes um where's Brussels? Let's have a look. Approach for ILS runway two five. Right. Two five left or two five right? It's two five left. Yeah, okay. So yeah, Yankee or Zulu, two five left. Go for Zulu, because I've got that up at the moment on air. Transition altitude level is by ATC, but the transition altitude is four and a half hours and speed limitations 220 knots. Yeah, it'll have the you pretty much know all the speeds in anyway. Um, so that's the approach. It's a Cat 2, Cat 3 ILS. What a weird uh, chart this is. So you've got Kirky, Bruno, and then you turn right from 295 to 203 degrees and then on to 249 into the runway. Go down to about, yeah, go to 3,000. Uh, ILS from where, yeah. Oh yeah, no, that is right. Oh, I've got a caution. Altitude alert. Recirculate far new PR off landing altitude. See, I don't know what that is for that. Yeah, I've just turned it off. I've just turned it. might be because obviously I'm not flying it technically, it might just be coming up. The runway is 10,535 meters. 
well, feet. 3,200, yep. Elevation is plenty of room to spare if it all goes wrong. Uh, right, um, I need to see how close we are to tower. Oh, oh God, we are coming in. Right, I'm gonna tune into tower. I'm just gonna quickly go for the toilet quickly. I won't be long. Right. And then I'm gonna put ground in on the standby. So I've got towers active, ground on the standby. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Right, so... Oh! Nice. Brussels Tower, Skyways 56... 5633 is inbound for runway 25 left. Unicorn wanted to eat and uh, what was the mileage to the ILS to the con contact you? Roger and contact you when established on the ILS. Skyways over to Unicorn 122.8. I've got the frequencies, so when we're I've got I've got tower, yeah, so I'll just contact tower when we're uh, coming in. ILS frequency for the runway. The ILS frequency is one one zero point three five IBL on a heading of two four nine. I, be I believe if needs be normally I just I normally I just hand fly it in the enemy on my so uh, got a slight the winds have died down which is good ground speed 243 Yep, 11035, confirmed. That's for 25 left, that's coming off air, Navigraph. Uh, if on a missed approach, we've got a claim on track of 249 at 700 feet turn left, max 185 knots on heading 105, claiming a flight level six z flight level 6,000 at 2,000. Yeah, so you'd claim on 249, obviously, runway heading. At 700 feet, would have the turn left, heading 105, claiming a flight level 6,000. At 2,200, turn left, max 185 knots, on a heading of 045, to intercept and follow Romeo 263 inbound FLO VOR. Enter flow holding and or execute ILS or loc y, run, local, localizer Y. 
Runway 25 left approach via IEF FLO VOR. That's a missed approach with comms failure. A missed approach, you claim 249 on track 249 at 700 turn left, max heading 185 knots, max air speed 185. On heading 105, then you'd claim to 4000, then as directed, that's it, there's comms. So we don't need to contact tower until we are on the established on the localizer. Yeah, I bel I've never done it with localizer, but I've always done it with the approach button. You've got the approach button, which is over on your mic, and then I believe in um, the LOC FAC. Perfect. I think approach would be enough. Yeah, try approach just to keep it. Yeah, you'd hit that button when, when you are it. <coughs> Uh, where about so and now then? Are we on the arrival, are we? Uh, we're about to be. Ah, so we're on Cox Seven Alpha, yeah. That's right. And then our next way, our next waypoint should be Bravo Romeo Two Zero One. Yeah. Kirky. And then it's just got runway two five left. That's all I've got on this one. That's all I've got as well. That's no problem. I see that obviously there's if there was a center then there probably would be direct on it. Yeah. Information India is now active. Q and H is 1012. Transition level is 55, five. winds 250 degrees, 14 knots, 25 left and 25 right for arrival, clear and dry. Few clouds at 4900, obviously we just went past them. Temperature 17, dew points 8. So information India. Speed is, yep, speed is dropping nicely. I don't think I'm on the localizer though, and uh, I need to get the shouldn't it? Uh, how do I check it? I'm just using my light panel. Okay, yeah, we should be on. And then I need to press the approach. Where is my approach? Approach is next to the altitude button next to my flight director switch. That's the approach button. What's it called, sorry? Uh, it's called app button. So if you look at my, if you have a look at my stream quickly, yeah. that's the approach button. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. APP. So it's that one there, so you've got the altitude. Okay. Uh, there we go. Is uh, we're going to David or you're still are we taking Yeah, I've got the front air uh, Wednesday off. So yeah, that's the approach. And I believe the LOC FAC is for the localizer approach. Yeah. Oh, I cannot see the route. Where's the airport? It's to our left. See, I've got to see the airport. Uh, it's coming up to being at nine o'clock. So left wing. Now there you should 
Oh, I think I... Oh, yeah, I can see it. It's on our left, yep. Right, so there's planes on the ground. Right, uh, let us know when we're established on the organizer, then I'll uh, let him know. Are we uh, established? We're not, though, are we? So it's the same as uh, the Airbus, so you'll have the the diamonds on the bottom and the right. So yeah, we have got them, we are not established yet. Yeah, yeah, roger. Well, we'll not, because it'll start descending itself, won't it? Yeah. Uh, max auto brake. Max auto brake. Obviously, you don't need the gear down yet. Or unless you want it down. Do you want it down? Saying that, I'll let you do all that while I do the comms, so then it makes it a bit more. Landing lights on. Literally, I've got no stutters, and I'm flying over a city. This is never. This is unheard of. Are we established? Yeah, I thought we were on the wrong one. You might have to just manually air uh, land this. See, I've, all, I've, all, I've always just used uh, approach mode. You, you know... Yeah, you don't have it on your side, that's the way it's uh, Bowen's always been. Yeah, so obviously you've got to reach. I think normally the first officer would press it, but obviously I don't want to start pressing things, because obviously I'm just in charge of comms. I don't know what will happen if I start pressing shit. GPWS X there nav and then you've got the eyelet so and you've got control on or off that's probably why it's not done it because it's set it off would it be on or would it be off try turning it on Yeah, it's, it's going on. Oh, have you not put the course in? Because normally you put the course in, then the frequency, don't you? See, I've never done it through a... Uh, radio frequencies, I just go in just off basic. I'll, I'll land like a basic noob. <laughs> See, what it has is it should have us looping around... And then end two five left. See, I've lost all bearings. Me, I, I don't know which way is which. So uh, the airport is behind the tail. Oh yeah, so um Turn right. It's gonna give us a long final. Yeah, cause there's two two five left is facing southwest, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, alright. I'm just gonna get us going uh, a little bit further down and then we'll come back on a long final. Yeah, looking at this it's um 
Want to be turning right, then come back round in. One four nine zero and one one four nine zero on mine for some reason. But under ILS and GLS, you should have one one zero three five. Eight nine zero point eight nine zero. And then underneath that, it's got nothing. It's just got park. But obviously, I don't think it'll matter for me because obviously I'm not flying, so. It should work regardless because obviously you've been following. I've not got a flight plan in. It's been working so far, so. Tell you what, we've got some a lovely view of the sunset there. It's I'm glad control isn't on. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah would probably be, I would probably disconnect if control was on. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Wait, so we are turning left, yep. Are we doing a full flaps landing? Or. Yeah, so we're still on flaps 18, gear is up, speed brakes set to max, radios are set. Uh, let's see what are still information India Q and H one zero one two. Just setting mine up there. Did someone say they were departing 25 right? Oh, that's fine. <coughs> oh, we've got a lethal crosswind of 37 knots at the moment. No, it's not. Yeah, so two five left is the runway closest to us on our left, innit? That's right. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, hang on. Yep, it looks like it's doing it. Right, just let me know when we're established on the ILS and then start making calls. So on information India. Double check that. Yep, still information. India. Wind still 25014 knots. Oh wow. I'm actually flying over a full city and 2500. Are we established? Uh, not quite. I'm getting myself ready on the air. Runway in sight. As if I've flown over a full city and not had a stutter. Yep, it's laying them up. Yeah, I think we're good. Shall I tell them we're established? 
Brussels Tower, this is Skyways 5633, Boeing 787 with information India. We are now established on the ILS room, we're 25 left. Roger, can't. Says we're flying left. We're flying. That's the one, or oh, is it? But we're the wrong way around. Yeah, we're on the left of it. Yep, we are going to uh, re rerun the uh, ILS approach route. We're just uh, figuring some stuff out there. Had some uh, glitches and stuff. My apologies. We're uh, flying away from the airport now. Yeah, we saw that um, we've diverted away from the airport. We're uh, going to establish what's going on at the moment, then we'll try again for ILS 25 left. Yeah, I did. Yeah, which is why I'm thinking we should just disconnect and land regardless. Yeah, fuck it. Right. Don't use the nav radio, just try using the approach. Or we're definitely in for ILS 25. Right, if worse comes to worst, fly in manually and just say we're on the localizer. That's normally what I do. Um, right, so normally you probably want to be about 150 landing speed normally on full flaps. Yeah. So you're about 150 on landing normally. In fact, you can get away with like 130 on some cases. Um, yeah, it's, and then it's just pretty much like flying the Airbus, obviously, on this. Mm, nah, right. Um, I'll be able to get. Uh, see you again. I, I think we'll be able to figure it out now that we know why we were maybe having some. Uh, yeah. Um, ILS issues because it originally put us on two five. What we thought was two five right. Yeah, and it's. So is it so definitely? Do we need to come? Do we need to land in the opposite direction so we have the headwind? Uh, nope, the runways are still 2-5 left and 2-5 right. But how when it was on our left? That makes it interesting. Because, yeah, then it would be 0 and 0 right. Yeah, but the uh, approach runways are 2-5 left and 2-5 right according to the ATIS. There's no 2-7, we've got 0-7s. Zero 0-7 seven is what I meant. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we've got the 0-7, then we're 0-1. Yeah, we're on the wrong side of the runway. So for 2-5 left... So two five left, the bearings two four nine. That's 
Yeah, 249-11035. That's the ILS DME. It's a learning thing, it's a, see I've never done it like this before. I just hit pro, I just put in my runway, hit approach hold, and then when about 2,000 feet, I'll just go automatic. I'll see I've uh, established on the air ILS, but. Nah, normally about 2,000 feet, I'll always, like 2,000 to, 2000 to 1,000, I'll hand fly it. Sometimes I'll let it go to about 500, I'll say that, no, I used to let it go to about 500. Okay. But then I just uh, hand fly it in. I mean, if you want me to hand fly it in... Ah, right. Right, so we should be heading in for... T see, obviously, because I haven't got the flight plan, I can't corroborate. I have got the map, though. If you go to your... If you go to the centre console, if you go to... Um, if you go to program, and then type in KD, which is... Uh, K-E-R-K-Y, and then click X... Uh, Kilo, Echo, Romeo, Kilo. And then do I hit? Alright, so hang on then. Let me put it in. Okay, try the two, uh, the destination. Put it as your destination and it will give you your reference point. On the screen, third down, it's the only highlight grey button you have. Yeah, direct to fix. Yeah. Nah, it won't let us. Unless it's out of range. No, it's not out of range. It's only about 20, 20 miles away. I've got bone. Fun. Yeah, I can see bone. Fun, fun, fun. Don't know what that is though. Don't think that's that's for us. Yeah, I don't think that is, no. So is the airport directly in front of us now, is it? No, uh, it's at our three o'clock pretty much. Coming up. Well, that sh should be right now. I hope so. If not, go manual and just sidestep over. Yep, yeah, just sidestep over on the thingy. Ah, we are seeing it. Uh, right, um, right, fingers crossed, third time lucky. Yep. Oh, Brussels is looking beautiful tonight. Hang on it.
Oh, hang on, it's real. Hang on, it's real lining on the left. That's where we need to be. Yep, yeah, it's it's moving out a bit. Should be straightening up now. And then we should be doing a right turn soon. Right, uh, if you look at my screen, it, that should be 2-5 left there, shouldn't it? That's what I would think. And what did you say the heading was? 240? 2-4-9. Right, okay, we're coming at it from the right angle. Because we were... Oh yeah, this got us coming in, yeah. So, we're currently on 220. Yeah. 230. Yeah, hang on, it's... We're too high, we're at 3,000 feet. Yeah. But we might be okay. Right, what's it doing now? Glide slope. We're all right on glide slope, actually. We're at the right altitude. Right, it's turning all the way around now. Was that you turning it? It's not me. Hold on, let me try and sort this out. Okay. What's it going to do a short break turn here? I think I might do a short right turn, yeah. It needs to it, line us up with the Okay, yeah, we're coming towards it. Right, we're on the glide slope. Right, it needs to be turning right. Yeah, that is 2-5 left there, yeah, isn't it, on our right, yeah. Right, shall we go? Right. I've got the land of gear warning. Yeah, I, I went to the gear. Oh yeah, right, there we go, it's off, right. Drop our speed down about 150. That's what I've got it set at, just to slow the speed, right? Too high. Shall I let them know we're on... on the localizer? Brussels Tower Skyway is 5633 is now on localised on the left. We're now localised on 25 left Skyway is 5633 Runway 25 left clear to land Skyway is 5633 Oh, we got there eventually. Oh, we're in a lovely headwind. We've got 33 knots of headwind. It's perfect. That was the tailwind that took us from London. Yeah. We're at, two, we're at 150 with a nice headwind. We've got a lot of distance. We are on the localizer. We are just... I'm not flying. The, the plane is landing itself. Oh, love. The, the descent and the angle. That's localizer. See now, now I know how to do it now, so then I can do it in the future as well. So we've both learnt, we've both learnt off each other. This is that's why I put the message out there. Is I'm just doing random shed like the spot. Oh yeah. Right, we're gonna do the same thing. Oh yeah. I I prefer doing it because it gets friggin' lonely and boring. It's like oh, it's like oh, I'm fine. I need to find stuff to do. Yep, yeah. two white, two red. Yeah. Speed is lovely, one for eight. In fact, this is perfect speed. This. Yeah, I have. I think that is the de ice, or I don't know what that is. But. Gears down. Gears down. Spoiler is off. Flaps are set. Speed is set. Oh, this is a lovely descent rate. It's all the play, not me. Yeah, if it was me, if it was me, I'd be fighting it. Gears down. I think we're good. I think landing checklist is pretty good. Hellwind, the headwind's reduced. I'm only getting 19. I've got 25 on main. 22. Oh no, it's wow. bounce. It's bouncing on 19, 20, and 25. 18. 
17 yet. It's all over the place. Right, I'm making sure I've got ground in. Yep, I've got ground ready for when we get there. Right, I've got the map open ready for the taxi route. 200. 150. This is the first time I've ever let a plane do an auto land and I never do it. Really? No, nope, I never do it. I've never done it. I just don't trust it. Lovely, lovely. Normally, normally it tells us here. Yeah. Um, so we're past Charlie one. This is Charlie two, I believe. We're coming up on. Uh, probably come off here, then just hold for a minute just to see if. Uh... Right, forty knots. You've got a thing in the tiller, have you? No, but I think I need to engage it because I don't have any steering. Right, I'm going to have to go and What, you can manually engage the tiller? I think you can. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do gear steering. Oh, no, there, the tip there. Yeah. The tiller's working, yeah. Not for me. It is on mine. Oh, oh, hang on, you're going off. Going off. Just tell, tell Tao we're just having a kind of function on the, uh, on the... We've got it on the tiller eye. Uh, Brussels Tower Skyways 5633, we're uh, currently having a malfunction on our aircraft's tiller at the moment. Roger, we'll disconnect if not able to uh, move from the location. See, I'm normally just, I just normally use rudder. Yeah, rudder's not working. I've not got any steering on the rudder. You try, try with your rudder. Nah, nothing. Rich, I'm gonna disconnect her from the thingy. Let's do it. What? Brussels tell her we're gonna uh, disconnect from the air server. Thank you for the service. Apologies for any air uh, delays we've caused. I've disconnected. He was giving us a fucking lecture, I couldn't be arsed with him. <laughs> he was so unhelpful. Yeah. This is why sometimes I'll just disconnect. Yeah, don't blame you. Right, listen, I'm going to have to call it there. So